is as Toyo C and my name is Toyo C Phillips. Welcome to Astoria Seas. My name is Toyo C. Phillips. Astoria Seas is a talk show that addresses a variety of social issues, from the serious to the amusing, the sad, and even the controversial. My guests and I will be speaking on these issues and sharing candid experiences that have shaped how we see things. So it's time for me to introduce my guest today, and she is none other than the head strategist at Show Me Solutions, a communications agency. I'm talking about Liz Osho. Welcome to the show, Liz. Thank you, Toyo C. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. You look great. Thank you. So do you. Good. Yeah, thank you. A little background on Liz. Liz is well known as being editor at Genevieve Magazine for what, about four years? Yep, correct. Yes, mm -hmm. and she's made a name for herself, I mean, by doing that. And she's on this show because she got married a little over a year ago. I hope I got that right. Yep. And she's not afraid to share her relationship <laughs> on social media. Today we're talking about public display of affection on social media. Liz. Yes. How are is you today? Bad? <laughs> I'm well, I'm good. good. She said, is it bad? But did I get that right? You've been married for what, over a year? Well, is it Chad or is it the wife? Oh, she. Because you know, there's <laughs> different anniversaries and engagements true, that you true, have to. True. But which know. is the most celebrated? So I think the white is the main thing. Yeah, yeah I feel like people you know. Those. But then in Nigeria, from the traditional marriage, they think they say you're married. That's mm -hmm. it. I thought it was from court. Like court is legal. Like this is legal. I Shouldn't that be the most records? Like you didn't not do here. Court. Yeah, I did courts in the states, but no, I never did court here. So okay, <laughs> because court <laughs> seems to be like the thing, and then trad, and then... please let's talk about weddings in Nigeria. Yeah, are those are, are those are all those events necessary? Perhaps not, but it's just part of the culture. There's a heritage, you know. There's a and there's a significance even from the mommy moi. You know, there's yes. that as well. They call it intro. Yes, yes. It's, it's actually important. And I think that um, every man that goes through it, it kind of conditions his and shows that this is a big load I am carrying. <laughs> I'm going to their house to ask for a hand in marriage. I had a discussion with my cousin about it. When a man properly asks your dad for mm. your hand in marriage, I'm not saying in all cases that means everything yeah. is perfect. There's no, no such thing as a perfect marriage. Yeah. But, it, it, you know, it weighs heavier when yeah. he starts thinking of how he's going to do this, this how he's going to explain to them, you know, so yeah. What do you think is more, and now we're going off topic, but what yeah. do you think is, <laughs> is like more si significant? A guy yeah. asking your parents for your hand in marriage or a guy taking you to his parents to say, this is the woman I want to marry? Both. Mm. And one has to come before the other. So I have to meet your parents before you meet mine. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Me. Well, I mean, not anymore. I'm taken. So, <laughs> yes, yes. I don't yes. need to. But I think, yeah, I think that's the process. I don't think that, you know, you go and ask someone's hand in marriage when they don't yes. even know her or at even home. Meeting. Yeah. So, okay. usually, um, because it's usually harder for you to go and visit a girl at, at home, home, but you can bring her home. True. You true. know, as a guy, you can have a girl home. Mom can be looking at you funny, like, hmm. <laughs> you know, what are you guys doing cooped up in the room or whatever right. but it's more acceptable yeah than you know a, than okay. a than you know the, the other way around the girl bringing the guy him over okay so we've gone a little off track yeah. <laughs> let's come back to the topic i want to ask what you're most grateful about being married for um i'm most grateful that i just have someone to be there someone that at the end of the night you can kind of you know, tell your problems, <laughs> can help just you find solutions, everything. you know, yeah. and yeah, just the feeling of not being in the world alone, not that I was ever alone, but there is this my ride or die that would do whatever for me, that tries to fix anything that's broken, because, you know, our parents love us so much, but they're not always going to be there, True. you know, and um, they, have they to can't even be there. they themselves between you and your siblings. Exactly, <laughs> and they can't even be there in that intimate manner that yeah. sometimes is required. So I'm just happy for the intimacy and that, yes, I have someone that I'm sharing my life's journey with. Oh, yeah. that's nice. So what do, you, what do you miss about being single? What do I miss about being single? Um, I miss coming home and not cooking if I didn't want to. Yes. <laughs> you know that? Yes. You just come home and you know. I feel like I'll miss that when I get married. Yeah, home. that's quite tough. Cause sometimes, and also I gained a lot of weight. When you got married? Because I was cooking all the time. So we sit down and we eat, but 
you know you can be yeah. on a diet for a week yeah when yeah. you're single. single nobody to cook for nobody you wouldn't even go into the kitchen true true you know so um, that's what you miss the most i miss yeah <laughs> i miss like because it's a lot of work keeping a home yeah i'm going to say your husband is one of those people i would have recognized even without you introducing him to me because of how much or how many of his pictures are on your page on social media okay now you're a strategy person is this a strategy like so everybody can know that he's taken this is my husband do not come close yes no i'm joking no i'm joking no i mean there's nothing wrong with celebrating usually you know it's not calculated it's just a situation of i like this picture of us so i posted or it's his birthday he's not on social media but yeah oh. i want people to know he's not on any social media okay. so i think he's on linkedin okay that's about it that's the most serious of social media that's the only <laughs> social media he's on so you know when i remember when uh we were introduced because it was like someone hooked us up yeah. and we weren't even in the same country i googled him which is what we do these yeah. days now just to see what comes up nothing, nothing. Oh. Like a LinkedIn profile and it was not even an open LinkedIn profile yeah. so I couldn't even see a picture he didn't have anything so now you google him and I feel sorry for the guy because I've just destroyed <laughs> his online just different Secrecy. things events you know yeah. and all of that but um I just yeah I think I've kind of because my background was that I was a TV presenter yeah. in um, England I've always been a public personality I've always been kind yeah. of a little bit out there and I don't have a problem sharing. There's no secrets, everything to a moderation, but there's no huge secret like that, you know. Yeah. So um, it's interesting because he says when we have children, he wouldn't want them online. And okay. I'm like, I'll see we about will talk, that. We will talk about that. We <laughs> yeah. have to go on a short break now. We'll be back very soon. Don't go anywhere. Coming up on Astoria Sea. But, you know, after all that, this is her low budget wedding. And also she's old, she's 32 getting married, you know. Take a break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Astoria Seas. I'm speaking with Liz Oshaw on public display of affection on social media. So how does your husband feel about the pictures of him on your page? Um, I mean, he's not on social media, so I don't think he minds. I think at first there was a little bit of a problem because um, people would report what we were doing to him. To him. So, yeah, <laughs> so people that weren't even in the country would say, oh, I oh, see I you guys you. had sushi last night. And he's like, Mike, how do you know this stuff? <laughs> like, you know, so that was really, really weird for him. Um, and, um, you know, people are always like, cute couple, blah, blah, blah. So I think even me too, I got a little bit carried away after a while because yeah. I was what he's always on my snapchat you know so now i have rules you know where i don't over you know expose what we have going on but i will still celebrate him i'll still put our cute pictures you know but just there's a limit to everything but mm -hmm. okay back to social media have you had to deal with negative comments yeah absolutely on my wedding day actually yes I on your wedding day on my wedding day yeah um i had comments saying something about I, I can't catch everything because yeah. actually on a, on a on your wedding day and you'll see when your time <laughs> comes there's a lot of comments you right. know so you won't be able to see everything but i caught this one which was um that you know after all that this is her low budget wedding and also she's old she's 32 getting married you know so i, I saw that i actually showed it to my husband and i had my um husband's sister and cousins replying back which is always the worst like saying you know abusing kind of yeah back and <laughs> forth so um i i don't tend to respond to oh, negative wow uh, but like comments. okay which reminds me on your wedding day you were snapchatting yeah and instagramming yeah were you having fun at the wedding? Of course, of course. I was having loads of loads of fun and that's why I was. Yeah. I got a dress that had pockets so I could actually Snapchat to take pictures. Oh, wow. Some of our favorite pictures were like selfies of yeah. me and my husband. Um, and I can see how that would work because wedding photographers are usually focusing on like specific things mm -hmm. like cutting of the cake mm -hmm. and putting mom and dad and, and, and dad, family pictures. So and the candid pictures actually would come from your phone. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, mm -hmm. interesting. We didn't have any time to even take like many just me and him. So we don't have very many images apart from on my phone. Oh wow. Of just, yeah, because you know timing yeah. and then they're like you've got to move on and you know that 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 segment is over so yeah i'm kind of happy well, so mm. the, the negative comments how do you respond to them i don't 
I don't. I've like you just to... ignore them? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because what's the point in trading banter with someone that's faceless? You don't know mm -hmm. them. You don't know where they're writing from. You know, so and what does it... What, I don't need you to validate me. I don't need to give you a response. You're not even worth my response. Mm -hmm. So the best is to just keep, keep it moving, really, you know? Yeah. Okay. So we are Africans. And I think we need to go on a break now. But... I'm going to be asking you if you think you're exposing your relationship to any danger by posting pictures, but that'll be after the break. We'll be right back. Coming up on Astoria Seas. Nothing wrong with celebrating that special one um, once in a while, but again, you don't need to put details. You don't need to know, let people know what has been done for you. Th those I definitely disagree with. Like, yeah. I got this, he did that, we've done, we've gone here, we've gone that. Now that definitely is TMI. Taking a break, I'll be right back. Welcome back to Astoria Seas. I'm speaking with Liz Osho, who does not have a problem posting pictures of her relationship, her marriage on social media. Uh, before the break, I was asking, do you think you're exposing your, your marriage, your relationship to, to evil eyes? We're Africans. You know, everybody's like, hey, be careful, oh, hide your good things, mm, all of that. Mm, I think, um, you know, I'm not portraying or putting myself out there as any marriage expert or I don't particularly even say anything about my marriage online. So, you know, I won't say things like the gifts my husband get, got me. I won't say, you know, this is where we live and look at, you know, all the, I got a car, I got, yeah. it's not. These are literally just a selfie, a picture, probably showing our outfit, we look good. And my comments are about that, you know, we're going to a wedding. So I don't see how we went to a wedding can turn into i mean i don't know how you what you can make the only thing you can say is there's loads of pictures of them but i don't go into any details right. about what's going i'm not one of those people that you will know that i haven't i had an argument with my husband right. through my status or um because you know some people they yes. update yes. what's going on or yes. do submit subliminals well, he's not even on social media so, so he wouldn't even, <laughs> he wouldn't even see, it. see it so he won't catch it so yeah but i mean i understand that yes you've got to guard your things and you know people i don't see um, anything wrong with putting pictures. So what do you think about single people putting up pictures of their boyfriends? Mm, that's one, that one's something. a little bit more tricky. Um, you know. Did you put up, sorry, did you put up pictures of you guys before you got married? When I got engaged. When you got <laughs> <laughs> After you got the ring. After I got the ring, right. kind of, yeah. So um, I didn't, I never posted anything before. Was that deliberate? Yeah. Why? Because I, I didn't want to be showing any more boyfriends. I'd, in the right. past, I've always I'd shown my boyfriend, shown, and, and then it ends, and it's quite sad, really, because then you go and delete all the pictures. So one of those. Are. Yeah. <laughs> so I just was like, after a while, you know, I think for three years, I had, you know, if I wasn't sure that I was in a serious, serious relationship. So for three years, I had no boyfriends. Oh wow. On Online social media, on social yeah. media, you know. So when my husband and I talked about getting married. And I knew that, yes, we started making preparations and, you know, the ring was round the corner. I was like, okay, yeah. We went on our first holiday to buy um, things for the wedding, you know. So yeah, like, I got okay. to choose my ring and all of that. So, yeah. Um, that was when I, I started. So I don't know. Your question. Let me bring it back. Yeah. If you're single, I think you've got to be careful. You've got to be careful. There's nothing wrong with celebrating that special one um, once in a while. But again, you don't need to put details. You don't need to know, let people know what has been done for you. Th those I definitely disagree with. Like, yeah. I got this, he did that, we've done, we've gone here, we've gone that. Now that definitely is TMI. There are certain details of your life and people don't like to see people happy. doing well or happy. <laughs> or, so you've just got to be yeah. careful. Um, and I think that's not even just about relationships. It's with everything, you right. know, don't um, loud it. Yeah. <laughs> don't loud it yeah. and uh, wait for that. Wait for something to manifest even before you, you, you know, go around putting details on it or Maybe telling anything. anyone. Yeah. Right. Okay. So for, for you, this is a bit tricky because I was going to ask, how you would feel if or first i was going to ask if your husband puts up pictures of you and then i was going to ask how do you how you would feel if he, he didn't, doesn't or if he did not on social well, media he's not on social media but how how should girls take that in when your opinion when, when they put up pictures of their special, special. significant other and mm -hmm. the person i think women are we're more 
inclined to do we're stuff posters. like that. Yeah, <laughs> we're more online. I even think Instagram. I'm not sure. Don't quote me, but I, I could guess that the um, you know demographic, yeah. yeah, the ratio of male to female is probably leaning towards favoring the female. Right. Um, we're more online. We're more vain. <laughs> True. You know, rarely do you find many men taking selfies. Selfies and all they of do, that. but you know, more women. You know, right. so. Um, I don't think any woman should take it personal if their husband doesn't, you know, or their significant boyfriend, other. their significant other doesn't post. I don't think it's a big deal um, if he never ever acknowledges. Okay, so maybe he doesn't post you, but if he won't even comment, hey babe, or, yeah, and he's online right. and you guys follow each other, then there's you know problem. there's a problem. He's trying to throw the whole thing in secrecy, <laughs> you know. But if he's yeah. not posting, I don't think it's a big deal. Sometimes yeah. some people choose to not um i just find it find it a bit sketchy like at least post one or two not not maybe i, I feel birthdays, like you should have both sides you know. exactly so i had a friend who found out on the explore page that her boyfriend was getting married wow this is a friend and you know how the explore page is those are people you don't follow wow. and then she just sees this tiny picture and she sees uh -uh, someone that looks like a. and then she looks at it and it's a girl posting the picture saying oh my baby i can't wait for august i can't wait this happened last year or something wow. i can't wait and then she confronts the guy and you know, of course it was it was over so wow. i asked her i said did he ever post a picture of you she's like no i said you didn't have a problem with that she's like not really like he's a guy and all of that but i feel i'm going to say but that means he didn't post any pictures of his wife to exactly, be either exactly <laughs> exactly which is just dodgy and very shady. Weird. very very weird. weird so i would say my opinion at least post one picture guys i know you guys are very chilled and yeah. very yeah but, but let her heart exactly. be at rest give her peace of mind <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's do a little pda 101 you already okay. gave one tip don't okay. overdo it yeah don't overdo it what other do's and don'ts do you have um do's do um celebrate your significant <laughs> other do it do it <laughs> you know uh do share nice images especially if it relates to you guys went out to eat um you know your clothes are looking fabulous do it, you know. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, don't. Okay, don't, don't make it too sexual. <laughs> okay. So, you know, in terms of PDA, yeah, PDA is just okay. Yes, affection, but sometimes some people you'd be looking at all sort of nasty things yeah. online, and <laughs> I don't need to see you guys with your tongues all down, down each other's throats. <laughs> You know, I don't post this sort of things. You know, I keep it. There's a limit. Why you would know? you even take a picture when people you're... do? People do. People do. They're cuddling and blah blah blah. Okay. Yeah, they do. Okay. <laughs> I have one. Don't. Don't post an ugly picture of your partner. Because some girls will be looking all fly and fleek, and then they're going for maybe in the middle of movement. <laughs> and that's the picture they'll go and post because they and just look the, at themselves. Exactly, and even the guys as well. Some guys will post pictures of them looking, uh, and then it's when their girlfriend is doing like this. Post. So that's my own. Don't. Don't, don't. post. An ugly picture of your partner. Yeah. Any other don'ts? <laughs> don't be tagging him if you don't want these girls to. <laughs> I don't have a problem because he's not on social, social media. But if right. you know that you want your bae to be just your bae and not another, what's the song that says, you know, even, even you your boo will get a boo. <laughs> if you don't want your boo to get a boo, probably don't be tagging him. Oh, um, Lord. Yeah, directing them right there. You yeah. Know? I don't know. I'm just joking. But Take yeah. absolute control for that. Okay, we need to go on another <laughs> break now. I'll be back with my final thoughts after the break. Taking a break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Astoria C. So it would not be Astoria C if I don't give my own opinion. See, I'm pro, do whatever makes you happy. If it makes you happy to post your significant other's picture on social media, please do it. But make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. I know some of you are posting it so that other people will be crying in their houses and it will be pinning their hearts and choking their hearts. Don't do that, it's wrong. If you're posting it just because you feel like and your partner is comfortable with it, then go ahead, do it. And for those that have a problem with people deleting pictures, I don't. If it is over, it is over. Again, if it makes you happy, delete the pictures and move on with your life. That's all I have to say. Thank you for being on the show, Liz. Thank you for having me. And thank you guys for watching. Stay engaged with the show by following us on social media at Astoyosis on Twitter and Instagram. Make someone's life better today. See you next time. Bye.
is Astoya C. And my name is Toyosi Phillips. Thank you for watching.